for me until I get down here so I'll come down here and she's there and then she'll go and then she'll do the same so I'm starting off the day with a dog walk the usual um, it's gonna be a good day but we're gonna catch up when I get back from the walk so let's go Good morning everyone. Oh, and if I've got food in my teeth, <laughs> maybe. So I'm actually a little bit sick. I've been sick since, well, just yesterday. I woke up at like three in the morning, not last night, like the night before, with like the most excruciating stomach pain ever. And I was like, okay, I have no idea why. I have this stomach pain. Like, why, why do I have this? It's fucking horrible. So when I woke up, I needed to walk Mila, of course, because Mila needed her walkies, and I was like, you know what, I just need to, maybe a walk is going to help my stomach, maybe it's just something that I ate, or whatever. So I took Mila for a walk, I came back, and I was like, okay, I'm still feeling, like, really nauseous, I'm still feeling, like, kind of, like, Bleh. I'm just going to eat something anyway to see if that helps too. Actually, it made it worse, and the pain was just, like, horrible. I had it in, like, my lower abdomen, uh, abdomen? <gasps> God, I can't even English and it was like shooting pains and cramping pains and it got to a point where I was like struggling to like walk I went to the doctors anyway and they took my temperature they weighed me they checked my blood pressure she also like pressed like my stomach and everything like that and she was like I can see that you're super inflamed and like it's really sensitive but your normal temperature is up and it's not really on the right side which usually you would feel a gradual increase in pain apparently with your appendicitis um if it was that i didn't have that which is fantastic news because that's the last thing i want when i'm supposed to be going to japan in like one month <laughs> it could be a couple of things it could be something that i like ate that's really irritated my stomach it could be like like gases because i've been having like kind of like chest like tightness as well so she was thinking maybe it's like related to like i don't know gas trapped here and then just yeah <laughs> I do feel better, way better today, like I'm actually feeling human today, I don't feel like I'm about to die, like I did yesterday, I'm not joking guys, I spent the whole day in bed, I spent the whole day playing Animal Crossing, trying to get Poppy as an islander, like can I get Poppy by the way, and watch like documentaries because I just, I didn't want to move because sometimes like just small movements hurt so bad and the medication has definitely helped and this morning is the first kind of normal meal that I've had. I had my tofu smoothie. I know you guys are going to be like, ew, what the fuck? Why would you put tofu in your breakfast? Rightly so. I get it. You can't taste it. That's the thing. And it's super high in protein. So I'm like, it's just easier than me using protein powder and probably shitting myself. So... I will definitely stick to the tofu. Usually I would add a bunch of toppings, but no, I just add a bunch of water, some fruit and stuff and see how my stomach reacts to normal food. I literally just ate bread yesterday. Bread and rice, because it was the only thing that wouldn't irritate my stomach. So that was a fun, that was a fun day of just pure carbohydrates with no movement and probably even more bloated today. <laughs> I'm gonna try and have like a normal-ish day today. Get back into my Spanish because I didn't do my Spanish yesterday because I was feeling so shit. For a quick walk and like 
listen to my Spanish audiobook. I know when I get stuff done, so. Anyway, welcome to the vlog again. I'm glad that you guys are back and I'm glad that I'm feeling human again. And now don't take your health for granted. Like, I'm serious. Like, every time I'm sick, I'm like, this time I am gonna make sure that I don't take my health for granted and I'm gonna look after my body. And then at 10 p.m. I'm ordering a large fucking pizza with a milkshake and a dessert and it goes out the window. <laughs> like, why is that a thing? I'm like, oh, I feel, I feel so bad. I've had such a bad time. I deserve to treat my body so good. Uh, no, Chloe, you're gonna order a burger and you're gonna feel shitty after it. <laughs> I am going to get my headset on and I'm going to go for my walk with Spanish and you guys are coming with me so let's go. Why do I think it's appropriate to go out like this? Like what's wrong with me? But wait, I have a different top on which I think is even cooler than my own hoodie. I have this. Attack. No. Protect. Attack. Snack. Like, okay, this is not, it's not a cool outfit. I don't know what it is. Yeah, maybe if I brush my hair, I'm gonna like look a bit put together. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. I don't think this looks better. I think this actually might have looked, it might have looked better not brushed. Let's go. <sighs> okay, my little princess, I will be going for my walk. You know how you had your walk this morning? Mama's gonna go for hers too. my Spanish 30 minutes every single day and basically I do Pimslo which is they say something and I have to repeat it and then they ask how I say it I have time so like tengo tiempo uh, I want to so like quiero comer I want to eat quiero beber día on a cold drink something like that <laughs> um, so I've been doing that for 30 minutes every single day <laughs> Spanish by then because I probably have I have like five or six months until like I probably go I know that I'm not gonna be fluent by then but I think I can be like somewhat conversational like I'll be able to ask what do you want I want this where are we going I have this much money you know like very basic stuff or say like oh I like this or I'm happy or like you know stuff there's like small stuff that I would like to say and that's like my personal goal so the fact that I'm progressing even just a little bit makes me so happy because I only learned French at school I never learned Spanish at school at all never um it was always French so I literally started from zero I think I feel it and I believe in myself and the fact that I can like even say that I want to drink is like a big thing for me rather than saying like hola or Gracias or uh, de nada. That was like pretty much the only thing that I knew how to say. Other than that, I knew how to say nothing at all. Same time getting some vitamin D. Pretty much like a vampire. I'm like reflecting this out in that way. <laughs> so, anyway, that was like a little catch up. I'm gonna drink some of this, enjoy the view, and then go back because I can feel the sun on my face. And no, it's not good. <laughs> no, it's bueno. <laughs> Wow, Mila, you just live the best life, huh? I told you you'd be sleeping this whole time, wasn't you? You'd be sleepy. Oh, thank you so much. Um.
That's it guys, that's it for Mila for today. start prepping for lunch. Today I'm going to be having these rice noodles. I think they're actually mung bean noodles. I have no idea what mung bean are but I thought they were rice noodles and I ordered them and it turns out that they're mung bean so we're going to be having those. I'm leaving them to soak in water. I'm going to cook them in some stock because I'm going to use the water from the noodles for like a mini soup. Mushrooms, huevos, eggs. And I'm going to be using this, which is a tamarind chutney. It's like my new obsession. The mushrooms, cook the eggs, then we're going to add the cooked noodles at the end, and then I'll have like a side soup from the broth. So let's get cooking. actually really good why am i surprised like i can't cook <laughs> wow guys it's actually good it's actually edible coming from me i'm gonna watch some tv shows and then i'm gonna eat the rest of this bar I'm craving something sweet. So, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna have something sweet! <laughs> so I'm kind of craving these, which I don't even know what they are. Um, so I'm gonna air fry one of these bowls whilst I wash the dishes. And I just want something like this for after because I deserve it. I'm in my happy place. Mmm. It's dream time! Amila, I know she's gonna bring it. No? Shaking it back to bed? Oh, look who has her little pig! Just me, he's have her little pig! Where did you get the pig from, Mimi? Are you taking it to bed? Yes, that's you! <laughs> Mimi! 
you going? Taking the pig to bed. <laughs> yeah, oh, you went to take your piggy to bed, baby. Did you? Yeah? No worries, I'll let you on the bed this time. Shh, just don't tell Danny, okay? I won't tell anyone. You bring your pig here. She's so cute, I can't. Oh, little princess. And I have no idea what I'm going to play today. Probably some PlayStation games and some chill games because I need, I need, I need a chill day. So, yeah, here we go. Tonight is Nucky Night. Woo! So, I'm making it for me and Danny. I think Danny is going to be preparing the panko. And I'm going to be preparing the gnocchi. So just have like this packet of gnocchi, a bunch of cheese, because Danny loves his cheese. This Mexican the hot sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So it needs a pan of water. And cook the gnocchi for like around five minutes just to get it like soft enough. I think it needs maybe a little bit more because the water's not pre-boiled. And then once it's like slightly cooked, then I can put it into the oven. Gym closes in pretty much an hour, 
so I'm going to do a bit of a leg day since I haven't done a good, good leg day in a while. So I really want to make the most of it. I had no motivation to be here today, but I'm here and I'm going to do a workout and it's going to make me feel good. And I have the whole gym to myself.